let me introduce you to Holothuria floridana, the Florida sea cucumber. If you've ever been snorkeling along the seafloor, I'm sure you've seen one of these. And they look like, well, poo. But I'm sure the first thing that anybody thinks about when they see one is, what does it taste like? Now I've got a couple of these sea cucumbers, so I'm going to prepare them a couple of different ways. The first way is called namako, and that's Japanese. And it's kind of like a pickled slash ceviche. And the second way is going to be a good old southern style. Okay, we've got our sea cucumber here. We're going to go ahead and clean it up. The way we're going to do that, I'm going to trim off both ends. That'll get a lot of the liquids out of it. And then I'm going to do an incision all along the entire body there. And open it up, basically unroll it, and then scrape out all the guts. So let's go and see what we've got here. Purge out all that water. Make our incision along so we can open it up and that'll allow us to clean it up. This is the digestive tract where it in, takes in all that sand and basically pulls out all the nutrients and then purges it back out. In one end, out the other. So that's all the part that we want to clean out. And that pretty much just leaves us with the flesh and the skin. So I'm going to actually clean this up. Originally I was going to fry these mussels. These five stripes, one, two, three, four, five, are basically the mussels. But because they shrink up so much, there's really not much there. Normally what you would do is you could take a knife, non-sharpened knife, run it underneath it, and then basically take off that mussel you can see there and that's what you would fry up and eat on its own but since these shrink up to so tiny I'm just going to do namako for the entire bit so now what I'm going to do is uh, flesh this out clean this all up into some fresh water then I'm going to soak it and clean it up with some salt in there and then soak it again there's our washed off piece there you can see the little muscles running there laterally not very big when this thing shrinks down. I mean, that's the whole piece and that's all that's left over there. So I'm gonna put it in this water with the other ones and then I'm just gonna soak them in fresh water. I'm gonna add, uh, flush that out, add some salty water, sea salt and fresh water, kind of wash it up and then flush it one more time with clear water. Then we'll be ready for the next step. Now that we have all our morsels all cleaned up on the inside and out, we're going to slice them thin. just like candy. Okay, time to spice it up. So, just gonna go with some soy sauce. A little bit of rice vinegar. A touch of brown sugar some lemon juice. Stir that up. Now we just need to uh, shred up some daikon. And that's gonna add a little bit of crunchiness. This is basically just a radish slash like a watercress, so get a little bit of crunch to it. Now we can add our daikon to our marinated sea cucumber. Let's mix 
that up a bit. Okay, our Namako is all done. Finished marinating overnight. So let's put this all together and have our meal. So are you ready for some Namako? Definitely can taste the radish, um, soy sauce of course, kind of heavy, but, and I didn't really expect much, but yeah, not a lot of flavor to it. Um, chewy, got some consistency. I don't think I'll be giving up lobster <laughs> if given the choice on a deserted island, but it is what it is. It's the Florida sea cucumber, so what can you expect? But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.